pointers in this session we are going to see pointers a variable which will be used for example if one is declared as an integer then ampersand i refers to the location that has been set aside to contain the value of i the declaration of pointer variables would uh, will be like int star pi it is a pointer variable if it is an integer data type float star pf pf is the uh, float pointer variable and char star pc it is uh, the pointer variable is pc of data type char here pi is a pointer which will contain the address of an integer variable Similar, similarly pf indicates that it can contain an address of floating point variable the assignment of pointer variable can be like int a comma star p a equal to 10 p equal to ampersand a here in the pointer variable p the address of the p variable a is going to be stored and star p will be nothing but the value of a that is 10 if p is a pointer to an integer then pi plus 1 is the pointer to the integer immediately following the integer star pi in memory whereas pi minus 1 is the pointer to the integer immediately preceding star pi note that star p plus 1 refers to 1 added to the integer star pi while star p plus i refers to the integer following the integer at location pi so let us see some example of the program We'll start the first program. Int me. We have the variable int r equal to ten in r p p equal to ampersand. print f address of var is i 
as it is pointer we will be taking it as p comma ampersand var and let us take for the p value for is percentage t var to be displayed properly this we have is printf slash n value for is percentage t this means that go to that location and fetch the value value of pointer p address of p is return zero so int main int var is equal to 10 int star p this let us give the space and let's run
we note that I have used percentage P for P's value as it represents an address. Address of var is given and address of var is this as per the uh, whatever it is given value of var is 10 value of var is 10 and again uh, when we see the value of pointer it's given with the respect to hexadecimal format and address of P is also in this format. Okay, next thing we have is the next program. The next example, function call by reference, swapping numbers. Function call by reference, swapping numbers with respect to pointers uh, let's see void uh, we'll have the header as it is void swap num int star variable one int star variable 2 int one temporary variable temp num temp num equal to star variable 1 Star var one equal to star var two star var two equal to temp num. So it means that we have uh, defined the function uh, swap num which is outside the main and then uh, we are going to have a main function int main where return type is uh, integer and then int num1 one equal to 35 num two equal to 45 we have to see how the numbers are before swapping so print f before Swapping uh, 
printf slash in num1 value is percentage t num1 num2 value is change it to num2 now what we have to do is uh, we have to call this map function num num1 and we are calling this function with respect to ampersand num1 ampersand num2 After swapping, number one is uh, whatever the statements that we have written before is before swapping. And after calling the swap function, we should also see what exactly happens after swapping. And then uh, return, see, because return type is. Uh, of the main is integer, so we will just mention it as return C and we'll close the bracket. before swapping 35 num1 num2 after swapping 45 35 uh, so this is with respect to the pointers and we have seen uh, the two examples so we have already seen that uh, what exactly the pointer is so pointer is nothing but a pointer uh, a variable which will be used to hold the address of some other variable is called pointer. Like for example, if we are declaring i as an integer, then ampersand i refers to the location and which contain the value of i. Okay, so we have seen two examples. Uh, one example was to see uh, the address of the variable and the value of the variable uh, how it is like uh, if you give as ampersand uh, how it is going to display or if it is with respect to star how it is going to display okay the next thing that it, it is a very common thing uh, that we are seeing that there's a function called by reference most of the aptitude or most of the interviewers would be asking this question uh, function called by reference or swapping numbers by using the pointers let's see the data structure types So data structure types in the sense 
this is the diagram uh, which is uh, diagrammatically represented types of data structure so there are two types of data structure primitive data structure non primitive data structure in primitive data structure there is integer float character boolean and non primitive data structure linear data structure non linear data structure in linear data structure there is arrays linked list stack queue and non linear data structure trees and graphs so what exactly do you mean by primitive data structure primitive data structure or data types it is a data type is a classification of data which can store a specific type of information data types are prim prim primarily used in computer programming in which variables are created to store data each variable is assigned a data type that determines the type of data the variable may contain the term data type and primitive data type are often used interchangeably that means that data type or primitive data type more or less it's like some kind of same thing primitive data types are predefined types of data which are supported by programming language for example integer character and string are all primitive data types programmers can use these data types when creating variables in their programs now next we will come to non primitive data types non primitive data types there are two uh, points that we have to remember non primitive data types are created by the programmer that is the first point and second one which are not supported by the programming language so in that we have linear data structure and non linear data structure so linear data structure means the data structure is considered to be linear if the data elements construct a sequence of a linear list the elements are adjacently attached to each other and in a specified order it consumes linear memory space the data elements are required to store in a sequential manner in the memory while implementing the linear data structure the necessary amount of memory is declared previously it does not make a good utilization of memory and result in memory wastage the data element are visited sequentially where only a single element can be directly reached the examples included in the linear data structure are array stack q linked list so let us see one by one our uh, definition of uh, each thing an array is a group of a definite number of homogeneous elements or data items stack and queue are also an ordered collection of elements like an array but there is a special condition stack will be following last in first out order and queue will be following first in first out to insert and delete the elements there are queue circular queue priority queue double ended queue 
linked list uh, the next data structure that we are going to see is the linked list is a linear data structure in which the elements are not stored at a contiguous memory location the types are singly uh, linked list doubly linked list circular linked list now let us see the uh, non linear application what is non linear data structure uh, later on in the next section i'll be telling about the application of stack application of queue and as well as in the non linear data structure the application of tree and graph so before that let us concentrate on the uh, definition of non linear data structure it is nothing that how the data is arranged consequently rather than it is arranged in a sorted order in this the data elements can be attached to more than one element exhibiting the hierarchical relationship which involves the relationship between the child and parent and grandparent in the non linear data structure the traversal of data elements and insertion or deletion are not done sequentially the non linear data structure utilizes the memory efficiently and does not require the memory declaration in advance there are two common examples of the non linear data structure tree and graph a tree data structure organizes and stores the data elements in a hierarchical relationship so we have already seen now in this with respect to this simple diagram uh, we have seen what exactly it is i can see also we have seen integer float boolean so if a question is asked what are the types of data structure data structure is divided into two types there is a primitive data structure non primitive data structure primitive data structure is a integer float character boolean and linear data structure and non linear data structure linear data structure is arrays linked list stack queue non linear data structure is tree and graph so these are the different types of data structure what exactly you mean by the primitive data type is is a specific type of information what exactly do you mean by non primitive data type is uh, data types that are created by the programmer and uh, as it is created by the programmer it is not supported by the programming language so we have stack queue in queue we have circular queue priority queue dq dq is called as a double ended queue then linked list string list also we are having uh, so many types that is single doubly and circular in the next class we are going to see applications of stack applications of queue applications of trees and applications of graphs non linear data structure in the sense it is not uh, data is not stored in a consecutive manner okay uh, it is arranged in a sorted order uh, that is the data elements is attached to more than one element and it is something called as a hierarchical kind of a relationship where you will be having child parent and grandfather so whenever non linear data structure is there you have to keep this in the example we will we'll meet in the next session